Now joining me back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to show us how you can do a basic health check on your pets are vet Alex Melrose and vet nurse Kelly McFarlane. Morning guys. Hi. I expect props when you come in. Alex, usually you've got something like a cuddly toy and you usually have animals. I know, but instead he brought his stethoscope. Oh, so. no, you must be a vet. <laughs> do you feel safer? I do feel yeah. much safer that you've got that on your neck. Thank yeah. you so much for bringing that. I know, Kelly, we tend to take our pets for a yearly checkup, don't we? But should we be checking our pets regularly at home as well? Yeah, I think what we tend to see is a lot of people um, might notice a smell from the animal's mouth and not really do anything about it. Mm. Um, so ideally, absolutely, they should be checking mouths, ears, feet, skin, everywhere else really. Yeah. <laughs> Many places that people kind of just take for granted and wait to the following year. So we as owners should be doing this? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what simple things can we check with our cats or our dogs, Alex? Well, as Kelly was sort of getting, getting to the point there that you know, you want to get your animals, you want to get your pets used to being handled and used to being examined. So right from the start, um, open their mouth, pull the lip back, have a look at the teeth, check the gums, pull the ear up, you know, gently. Have, have a, yeah. you know, have a good look. Like Between that, yeah, <laughs> check their coat, their shiny coat. Um, you know, get in under their paws. A lot of pets will, if you don't do it regularly, a lot of pets will have a certain area that they're a little bit sort of gun shy around, you know, mm. some of them around the mouth, some around the feet. Just do it regularly, check it all the time, and then you're going to get onto stuff early. So you should be doing it from when they're when they're puppies or kittens. Yeah, yeah. So they do get used to it yeah. because it yep. can be a bit intimidating, though, for a pet owner. We don't know what we're looking for half the time. What should we be looking for? A, a lot of the time, they need to realise what's normal for their pet. Um, you know, you get some animals who have got really hairy ear canals. That's perfectly normal. Um, we have others who, you know, as I say, their teeth. It's about checking their teeth. Are they stone chewers? So are their teeth wearing down? And I think it's for people to understand. Um, um, yeah, what, what's normal for their pet? What lumps and bumps do they have? Um, because usually by the time we see things, a lot of the time uh, this stuff is quite preventable and um, yeah, it's kind of being left and left mm. a little bit too long. What about small animals like rabbits? Do we still need to do those checks on, on your bunny? Lots of bunnies around. Yeah, any small animal really should, should be checked. And again, especially with rabbits, um, is, is checking their teeth because if they're not on the right kind of diet, they really do suffer with, with their teeth a lot. Um, also, as well, checking around their bottom area. We see, um, sadly, rabbits with um, fly strike. So what's happened is there's a lot of severe kind of diarrhoea around there flies dis disgustingly have laid their eggs and then of course we see all the maggots so you okay. know yeah so it's pretty horrific you yeah, know what, what I'm pretty down. sure you yeah. put your coffee down and just enjoy your muffins that you're having yeah. right now um, I guess that that is something that you could obviously even even I could see that there was something wrong so you just have to clean up the, the area wouldn't you yeah and it's about you know again regularly checking the rabbit checking the mouth checking their bum and um, you know is their area clean as well um, are they actually eating their food is, is the biggie as well well. Yeah. And again, sometimes by the time we see them, it can be a little bit too late or, or at least being really, really poorly. And you, don't, you don't have to do everything yourself. Just, just recognise that something's abnormal. Mm. You know, yeah. The breathing rate, the pattern, um, subtle things like that that you actually, you can figure it out if you pay attention. Right. You know? yeah. And that could be changing throughout their lives, just yeah. to keep an eye on things. And, and, don't, and also, sorry to interrupt, don't, don't assume that it's an, it's, there's a change is only happening because they're getting older and nothing's wrong. Yeah. A lot of people do that. And I think oh, it's just because they're older. Yeah. But it's actually a disease that we could treat. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, what if my animal doesn't like to be checked by me? I mean, what do I do then? Tough. Just <laughs> look. I, I think Tough that's a. I think that's a is this a question specifically from you? Because you were, it's a cop yeah. out? Or? <laughs> no, no, okay. I was just checking. I was just checking. It's a generic question. Well, I, th I think, um, you know, you have, to, you, have to, you, you, you have to. You have to. You have to live up to your responsibilities and you have to you have to like I say if they're being difficult work around it start to reward them for you, allowing you to check the okay. paws you know allowing you to lift at least lift the lip don't have okay. to wrench their jaw open things like that so you work around it you be smart make sure you are having a look don't just give up okay thank you very much lovely advice as per usual and because you've got the stethoscope I feel so much more mm. um, healthy and healthy, <laughs> healthy as well yeah. uh, thanks guys now to our pet of the week congratulations to a little foster baby who is loving his foster brother Zeus oh look at that cute $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner Amber Melville and if you would like to enter your pet and it can be any type of pet too just upload a pic on our Facebook page.